third time. <laughs> Bailey and Kristen Maloney. <laughs> Bailey, you've always been like a brother to me. <laughs> and I'd like to thank you first and foremost. Not for asking me to be your best man or anything. You no, know, I I'd like to thank you for taking the marriage pressure off of me for at least a couple more years. Maybe not. For Maybe. So, for those of you who started early or don't understand context clues, I am Bailey's older brother, Ross. And I've known Bailey for pretty much all his life. Uh, Bailey was never the troublemaker. He was never the guy with the crazy stories. But as we all here know, he has a huge heart, and he always knew what he wanted out of life. So it's no real surprise that he wants to do as early as he did. Also, when he cleans up, he looks halfway decent. <laughs> and I hear that women consider a future doctor to be a catch. Yeah, whatever, Bailey. You should see how they swoon when you tell them you're a production assistant. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bailey and Kristen met, as they describe, like characters in a movie, sitting side by side in a science lecture class, crushing on each other but never speaking a word. <laughs> Meanwhile, unbeknownst to them, both their sets of friends were trying to set them up together. <laughs> now, as someone who knows many people wasting a lot of wasting their lives away in Hollywood trying to write movies, I gotta say, that would get nixed on the first draft for being too unbelievable and too adorable. <laughs> but truth is strange in fiction, and here they were, taking notes side by side in what I assumed was chemistry class because I so wanted his pickup line to be, damn girl, we got chemistry together. <laughs> <laughs> when I told Bailey that, he gave me that signature Bailey look <laughs> and said, no. <laughs> it was physics. And you never pick up a girl unless you're in cross. But three and a half years later, here we are. Now, in preparing for this, I had both Bailey and Kristen secretly answer a series of questions without the other. Basically, to do my work for me. But I learned a lot. I sent them you know, maybe five or six questions and said, hey, give me a page as soon as you can. There are a couple of discrepancies in what that means. Kristen sent me three pages within two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey had to be reminded of the assignment three weeks later. <laughs> and then there were a couple of discrepancies in memory, too. For instance, Bailey says they started dating at some point sophomore year. <laughs> Kristen says they started dating on October 17, 2012. <laughs> I got it. But then I started reading further and I, I really realized how similar their responses were. They both said their favorite asked about the other was it was their quiet string and how they can turn to each other in times of crises. They both have the same, exact same sense of humor and they can make each other laugh wherever they are, whoever they're with, and no matter how much the other people think they're speaking their own language. <laughs> You know, here's a couple who are truly in sync with each other, again and again. And they don't show it in a loud and theatrical way. They show it in a gentle and unconditional way, where you know it's genuine. And it's, frankly, it's hard to look at them and not see the very definition of companionship. Now, dating these days, it isn't easy. Let me tell you. <laughs> but Kristen and Bailey are my picture of why it's worth it. So Bailey, because you never said it, I'll say it here today. Damn, you two sure got chemistry. <laughs> Cheers to many, many years of it to come. Thank you, Ross. Good enough for Kristen and Bailey, ladies and gentlemen. That was a beautiful start.
Lord. Cheers. Cheers. If you don't have champagne, you can toast with a glass of water.